great. People are going to make these gifts. They're going to give you again before the end of the year. They're going to stay involved into the new year. So do I have any tips for actually asking for this kind of gift? Yes, of course I do. As you are focusing on building your social media plan, I want to say that this is applicable, of course, for Giving Tuesday, but this is applicable year round, regardless of the channel. So I'm going to talk about social social posts, um, but this works in, in any any area that you're talking with these people. Okay. So part of that large research piece that we did earlier was an analysis of around 13,000 personal notes that people left for an organization during the giving process. So if Irene landed on my donation form and they decide to make a monthly gift, um, I may have a little, a little box on my form that asks like, what inspired you to give today? And Irene tells me, um, tells me what I'm talking about. That's the kind of, that's the kind of note that we're looking at here. Um, once we have that information, we cleaned it up, we scrubbed it of all identifying or sensitive information. And then we, we asked AI to analyze, uh, the text and identify repeating themes and sentiments in the notes. And what we found is that the people who make these gifts aren't giving out of a sense of obligation. They don't give because they want the tax break. They don't give because they saw 15 social media posts about it and they want you to stop pestering them. Uh, they do this because they have a very deep personal emotional connection to the cause. And people are giving for lots of different reasons. This is just a handful of, of the responses that we, we found and the common sentiments that we saw. People give because they're thankful for an organization's work. Maybe they've benefited from your services before and want to make those services possible for others. Um, a lot of people gave to, to honor or memorialize a loved one. They are just inspired by the mission. A lot of people talked about those emotional markers, but they also talked about um, personal identity markers too. They talk about wanting to leave a world for, or a better world for future generations. They want to care for others like they received care. They talk about religious motivations. They talked about their cultural backgrounds. They talked about their sexual identities. They talk about their socioeconomic status. What I find beautiful about all of this is that these 13,000 and change people poured their hearts out in these notes. And what they had to say painted a beautiful picture the people who are going to support you this way are passionate people who really care about the work that you're doing. So take that knowledge and use it everywhere you're talking to your community. Remember, you're not asking when you invite someone on a social media post, maybe call it Facebook. When you talk to people on Facebook and invite them to give a monthly gift, you're not asking them to do something hard or unpleasant. You're inviting them to be an important part of the community that you're building.